Okay, I'd like to show you guys something when measuring chokes the correct way. You need one of these clock gauges. There are others. There's a chub gauge which you can use. I have one of those, but this one is quite easy to use for measuring choke because you just put it in the bore. You set it to zero in this case, just wiggle it around a bit, get zero, and then you slowly retract it. And what this does is measure the restriction in terms of thousandths of an inch or mils if you have a metric clock. So it's the restriction, how much smaller the choke is than the bore. So in this case, it's 18 thou restriction, which is near half choke. But what I really want to point out is um, a gentleman came back from a gun shop, a regional gun shop, well known, who asked me to check his chokes for steel shot. So um, he was told by this chap in the shop that his chokes were cylinder and cylinder. And I said, okay, well, I'll measure them. And um, so I measured it. You zero the bore as we did the other one. This is the uh, left barrel, by the way. These barrels are upside down. Uh, because they're facing me, they are left and right anyhow. So um, I've zeroed the clock. Now I'm going to pull the gauge out. Now watch what happens. It's gone backwards. The gauge has gone backwards. And now it's going forwards again to the restriction. Now what would you say that is? That looks like cylinder choke, right? There's no restriction in there whatsoever. The barrel, the bore is straight through. So let's zero that again. Pull the gauge out. But watch the, zip, the needle, it's going backwards, which means the bore has been backboard. The choke has been backboard. Um, some of you may know this, but if you have a barrel that has no choke in it and you want choke in it, you can backbore the last, I don't know if you can see with my camera, this part here, you just open this up and um, you make the bore bigger there, which in turn gives you a restriction in the muzzle. A um, bit hard to explain without drawing a diagram, but you'll see again. So if I pull the choke gauge out, the bore gets bigger, and then it gets back to zero again. Maybe one half a thou choke. So this is what this guy did in the gun shop. He measured the choke and just did that, pulled it out and said, you got no choke in there. But what you're supposed to do when a barrel has been backboard is you zero it at the biggest point of the bore. So about there I can feel it, zero it, withdraw the gauge, and this barrel actually has 7 thou choke, so a good improved cylinder. So there you have it, um, a 12 bore side by side shotgun barrel that's been backboard and how to measure it correctly for choke. How effective this choke is, is another another chapter, another pub visit, so um, maybe that's for another day. We'll uh, pattern something that's been backboard or jugboard and something that hasn't. So thanks for watching.